Hills kick off the ground for Essendon, force the ball to Woods centre half forward. Anderson can't control the football. Jarman has it, tackled by Hurd. Players jump on top of the football, and there's a free kick picked out. It's going maybe against McDermott, and it'll go to Watson. He'd be a chance. Kicks it high in the air. The breeze is going to the Well done, Watson. Now a chance for Kelfer. He punches his way through. At centre half forward. Short kick. Is OK. In front of Pittman. Yes, yeah, and some great shepherd behind the play here by the veteran Jimmy Watson. So let's see what he can do with this one. The goal each at the moment. Salmon shot for goal. Second goal of the bombers. Now O'Donnell clears from the centre for Essendon. A high kick in towards full forward. Oh, yes. A good mark taken by Salmon. I just noticed Robbo behind play two. Brian Wood, the Essendon runner, now having a chat to Joe Mercedi, who uh, seems to have some injury problem. Maybe the hamstring again. Salmon a chance to put the Bombers back in front. Certainly will get the distance. Good looking kick. Salmon's got his second goal. Beautiful conditions here at the MCG. Clear blue sky after some torrential rain during the week. Oller Inshaw. Handball wide for Long. Backs himself. No mark taken. Out comes Thompson. Got to do something to lift the side. Flood, Mercedes, O'Donnell. Short kick, OK. Kick has got it again. They've just got to get a goal, Essendon. They've got no momentum whatsoever. They had a chance just a minute ago to kick one. Couldn't do it. This one looks pretty good. It's an Essendon goal. Next goal important because Adelaide's had a lot of chances and they haven't quite destroyed Essendon yet. Well played, Wren. O'Donnell snared it. Go short with a chip one. Ooh, probably should have done better, Bickley. Buick will kick a goal. Go and does. Michael Long, tackled by Wiedemann. Ball rebounds. Maynard, out in front. Hodges, tackled by Watson. Drag down. Wiedemann, tackled by Watson. Must get the free kick. And it goes to Essendon. Great yeah, No comes to the members side the ball floating in, in the breeze punched away by long from Jarman rebounds for Watson handball brilliantly Denham unselfish Buick will get it now it goes. still a contest Salmon Buick can't take it little touch by Pittman was important McCurry close to the boundary line McCurry does well handball Salmon get the goal can sense something here with Essendon coming back Buick looks for free to get it Rashido hanging on over the top of him and this is the best finisher in Essendon's team well it doesn't hurt to throw the arms out occasionally but the umpire no. see what's happening well especially when you're only 20 meters from goal Buick going for his third drop part he's got it but inside 50 meters coming out and taking a nearly a great mark but the recovery was enormous Fletcher and Wanganin combined. Oliver Richard's got the footy, running through the centre of the ground. Streaming away with a fourth bounce. Wanganin's turning lip tack inside out in this turn. Taken by Cowthorpe. McCurry will go. Goes for it. Six points. it through. Those young blokes are getting into it now, aren't they? Lip tack went without it. Grenvold comes away from half back very very ordinary kick he was under a little bit of pressure but he got no penetration but Essendon combined in the center of the ground some of them good kick Mercury Mercury looks for Salmon and the big goal hit them is that 50 meters no oh, that hurt Salmon he put the knees in but they didn't have to do it he's hurt himself too Pittman I think well Pittman had that knee problem in that first half oh that was an excellent diving mark though by Salmon wasn't it 23 points is the advantage, so Paul Salmon can bring it back to 17. And he does just that. We'll kick 5-2 the Bombers to 1-1 one, one in this quarter. Come right back into the game. Wren and Somerville. Salmon with four goals. Buick taps it forward long. Watson caught by Jarman that time. Watson, well done. Held his ground against the odds. Buick's always dangerous. 
Still dangerous. You give him a chance. Look. Not a bad kick, though. It means he's now going to kick it 50 metres plus. 50 metres? Well, it's no. not the rules of the game, but in the spirit of the game, the guy's away. It's illegal. He's going to kick a goal anyway. Little kick, too far. Michael Long takes the mark. I think it was meant for Whitney. Chris Danaher, handball over the top, Denham. Essendon taking a few risks. Denham runs up near the wing. His third bounce, handball over the top. Creativity good. James Hurd, a high kick. Back there is Rusciuto, couldn't take the mark. Goes after it again. Got a little toe poke to it. Ben Hart's in trouble. Kick off the ground, too far. Free kick to Essendon. It was good play out of defence. They chased their hand there, Essendon. Well, it's Buick. Pretty good kick for goal. Oh, he's got it! He's kicked five! So Hasn't the given pressure. them a great uh, opportunity, has he, on the forward line, I don't think, this afternoon. He's whipped him off on a couple of occasions very quickly, Scott Hodges. There's a chance for Essendon. Buick may get his sixth goal. Now he misses for the left. Free kick to Buick. Going to get a free kick. Just over 20 metres, pretty well straight in front. So you would nearly write this down for a goal. He's got the score the level. Long stages. Watson important. O'Donnell should go. Goes and puts it through. The bombers are in front. Looks for Wren. Can't take the mark. The big fella goes after it. Taken by Wanganoon. Grabbed when he got rid of the ball. Now the advantage is with Essendon. Watson has it. Beautiful kick by Watson. Heard on his own. Hard to come down the ground. Well, another important kick. Can James Hurd kick a goal this time? Looks pretty good. He's happy with it. Very important position here. Taken by Brown. Wanganoon's got it. Oh, Did he have the football? One wonders. Away goes on a wing short. Two Wanganoon. In short, Watson. Shorter again, Mercury. No, Watson gets around. Forced to kick with the left. It slews off the side of his boot. Set a half back for Adelaide. Very important possession. Watson's got it. Watson goes for goal. Here it is. Back with the house down. Essendon at home in the preliminary final. Thanks to a goal kicked by Timmy Watson. Graham Corn shakes his head in disbelief. I can remember, like it was yesterday, we went into the rooms, and usually when you're getting flogged by 42 points, uh, the heads are down. The blokes are sort of waiting for sheets to come in, sort of look at him when he comes in, you know, because but there were no heads down this day, you know. There were, Heads are up, and there was Harvey who was watching, yelling, and I was yelling, you know, saying, we're not out of this. You know, this is a final. We're going all the way. You know, it's been our best skill all year, our persistence. We've come back from here before, and, uh, you know, the, the team sort of gained a lot of confidence out of it, and the, everyone was talking. And then Sheed's come in, and he knew that we were pretty right, but he just put the, the final touch to it, you know, and uh, the turnaround, you know, by Darren Buick, who kicked six goals, was sensational. A couple of goals from the boundary line. Michael Long just tore the hearts out of Adelaide. It was absolutely unbelievable, you know, taking the ball out of the centre, and just, everyone just turned it around and said, hey, we're not going to lose this, we're going for it, you know, and uh, that's the feeling that was in the rooms at half-time, and, and like I said, it's, if you went in the rooms negatively, we are gone, but we went in saying, we got a chance, and that's what happened. to have such a, a lifting sort of comeback and to win it, you know, you know, it was 